Okay, so you have uh, assigned for assignment six the finger paint company, and in order to show you how that's done on a cost of production report, um, we're going to do a company called Paint Gun. Anyway, um, this cost of production report is different from those shown on in chapter 18, page 849, and the purpose of this format, which is more concise, is to keep all calculations within the report. Um, and avoid footnotes. So we'll be working from the upper left to the lower right with the quantity side first and then the costs on a separate second recording. Okay, start um, in part one. We're accounting for total units two different ways. and um, We begin by using the information provided in the lower left of the spreadsheet, which you're going to have to uh, look at, which is... Um, the paint gun spreadsheet. Anyway, um, as we can say, the information about inventory, uh, 20,000 ga gallons of beginning inventory goes in two places. So um, we're going to insert that um, in the, uh, the first BI box first and second sections on the left side and the uh, percent complete of the beginning inventory goes just to the right of the um, beginning inventory quantity and this is in this case 70% uh, complete so okay next the direct materials added, also 20,000 20, gallons, uh, which is the also known as the RMS. Um, we'll go on the second line. Uh, um, the 28,000 gallons shown, which is units transferred out, Abbreviations UTO goes in the third line of the second section. And then 12,000 gallons of ending inventory just below that. And the percent com complete for that is 50% this time. So you just need to type in 50 with this formatted sheet. Okay. Uh, for the calculations where you uh, all earn the big bucks, being major cost accountants reported in the Wall Street Journal for having done this problem. Okay, um, first the s &C or started and completed in the same month for January 2012 is going to be the difference between um, the units transferred out or 28,000 and what we had to begin with or 20,000 gallons. So this number represents that amount which wasn't already here but also was began and completed in the same month so you could say this guy is equal 28,000 which is everything that went out minus what was already here to begin with and so that's obviously the difference is 8,000 there and then if we add the units transferred out and the ending inventory amount um, which is 28,000 and 12,000, that would say that we've got 40,000 total units to be assigned costs. Or this could be, you know, you could do this as an auto sum too, except for that formula has got to, can't be annoyed by Excel, we can't let it stop us from doing what we need. So that's just 16 and 17 for 40,000. It also is the same number as up top where you have the beginning inventory quantity and the amount received into the material storeroom. So 20,000 and 20,000, that's an auto sum of 40 or a manual sum of 40, whichever way. Okay, and um, that's the first upper left section pertaining to quantities. Now for part two down on the lower left for equivalent units, um, we go to the first uh, 
column equiv equivalent units pertaining to direct materials. And keep in mind that um, in these cost of production reports problems, we're going to be using the simple assumption in all of them that all materials are added at the beginning of the production process, whichever month that is. So, therefore, any materials from the beginning inventory would have been added in a previous month. That's why it's showing a dotted line here or blank. The started a completed amount, equivalent units, direct materials, will be 100% because they all were began in this month. So what that number is going to be is simply copying the 8,000 from here, the started a completed line above, and repeating it there. Ending inventory also, since that, that uh, is remaining for materials, we're just copying that amount of $12,000 up from above. Because all the materials were assumed to have started at the beginning of the process, so all of the, the materials needed for that production is in there for equivalent units. Add the 8 and the 12, and we're going to get here... Um, 20,000. Keep in mind that the 20,000 quantity here shown, um, or the total equivalent units direct materials, should also equal the RMS number up above, or receive materials stockroom number. Okay. Um, now to the equivalent units of conversion costs calculation. Oh, uh, equivalent units conversion costs, right, which is all the uh, uh, work, production work added after materials um, have been brought in. So for beginning inventory, what we have to do is take the inverse of the percentage for the beginning inventory. It was 70% done at the beginning of the month, therefore 30% more work had to be added to it. So one way you could look at this would be 1 minus 0.7 or equals 0.3 times the beginning inventory quantity of 20,000. And that would be 6. So actually, I'm going to bring that guy over here. As far as started and completed, that's saying all of the work was done this month, so we can use a 100% basis for that and copy the 8,000 from above. The um, ending inventory percent uh, added pertaining to conversion costs will be the same 50% as it is above because um, that's how much work was uh, done pertaining to the ending inventory by the end of the month. So this becomes equals 0.5 times the ending inventory quantity of 12,000. So this becomes 6,000 again. If we add the quantity equivalent of units conversion costs of 6, 8, and 6, we have 20,000 again. That's just a coincidence that's not going to always agree. It will most often not agree with the equivalent units to yen. All right, so that's the left side or the quantity side of the um, uh, cost of production report. And we'll just start up here. Just before we go on to our next um, half of this problem, we'll just say that the cost of the beginning inventory is going to be repeated here. It's shown down below, right? WIP, um, January 1, $35,000. Just simply put the total of $35,000 up above here in the upper right. Um, and that is, um, we do not have a breakdown of the direct materials and conversion costs. This problem um, and chapter don't go uh, into that much detail on you know the previous month we're really focusing on the cost of production for January only so just copy the $35,000 for um, 
beginning inventory up top there to the right. And we'll stop here as this is the um, completion of the first half of the uh, problem for uh, 